Hey everybody, Vice here. Welcome back to Let's Play King's Quest 3. Let's continue on. Play flute. And we gotta move fast here. Never say you raise the flute to your mouth and you begin to play a melody turning to a big cobra, which begins to sway with the music. Soon the snake is mem mem mesmerized by it and fall into a hypnotic trance. Get fruit. Get bored. Jump. Okay, let's get out of here. I'll just cut to when I'm on the other side of all this. Because I don't want to show that on screen. Ugh. Okay, we're finally out of that. Now, about that unicorn. Once I find where it is. There it is. Shoot. Unicorn with with bow. You aim one of the cubits golden arrows towards a beautiful unicorn. You let go of the bow, strike zing! Bullseye. Magnus Unicorn is no longer afraid of you. It, it's now your friend. Except I can't use it. Except I can't, well, ride it right now because I got to deal with something else first. There's the reference to King Quest 4 I mentioned earlier in the other LP. Fisherman at the end of the pier. Whoops. There we go. Open door. Give pouch diamonds. Give the pouch of diamonds to the fisherman who takes it gladly. Wife, give the girl my fishing pole and trade. He tells his tired wife obediently as she retrieves the pole and hands it to you. Thank you very much, she says, smiling. You have certainly helped us. Darn it. Stop falling in the water. Darn it. <laughs> uh, this is some Looney Tunes nonsense here. Oh, come on. Really? From that spot? Fine. I actually don't think it's my keyboard having the problem. I think it's just the game has a slight delay with my inputs for some reason. Maybe the keyboard? I don't know. Anyway, um... Fish. Easily from the appear, you fling the line of the fishing pole into the ocean. I didn't put the worm on the fishing pole, did I? But wait, you haven't baited your hook. Feeling rather cheapish, you... Re Reel in your empty fishing line. Yeah. Put worm on hook. Turning up your delicate nose, you gingerly bait the hook of the fishing pole with a large earworm. Fish. That is not how you spell fish. This is semi RNG too. Sometimes you'll get a, bo a boot, and sometimes you'll get nothing. Game. Almost immediately, you feel something sharp shrug. Something pulls, bites your line as you slowly reel it in. There it is. You have caught yourself a fine, fat fish. Time to go for a swim. Because, yes, you actually... No, that's too early, game. Okay, there we go. Now we're on the island where Janesta is, and we need to gab this feather. Get feather. Now we can go find the whale, and I always en usually end up finding the whale early and then having a hard time finding it later. So let's hope I don't have too much trouble finding it. Let's try this again. 
There it is. Now I just gotta wait on screen for it to... We Horrors, you have swallowed by the huge whale. Phew, this place stinks. Get bottle open. Open bottle. You have my spot on treaty imprisoned note. Read note. It says beautiful mer to see a beautiful I see a beautiful mermaid in King's Quest 2, but she won't help me. Tell me what to do. <laughs> uh, that's one of the puzzles that actually got people stuck in that game for a bit. Speaking of getting things getting stuck, this. The tongue of the whale is considered one of the most annoying parts of the series because, well, you had to figure out how to climb the tongue and, well, it's a pain to deal with. I'm definitely using the mouse for this. Okay, we're now standing on it. Use feather on whale. Tickle There we go. You first be tickled to throw the whale with a big peacock feather. You begin to feel a quiver under your feet, which quickly turns into a mighty tremble. Suddenly, you hear a thunderous ah-choo, and you sweep out of the whale's mouth in a tremendous wave of ocean water. Again, you find yourself swimming in the ocean. Quickly go up. Throw fish. You throw a stinky dead fish at the pelican. Greedily, greedy, greed, greedily, bleh. he catches it into his large bill. As he does so, you notice something shiny fall from his bill onto the ground. Look, ground. Get. Whistle. But before we use that, get bridle. Look down. You look at the ground side of the rocking boat. What is this? Why, it's a golden bridle. You pick it up and carry it with you. Play. Whistle. You put the shiny silver whistle in your lips and forcefully blow into the boost that Tweet! <laughs> Tears not when a friendly dolphin appears off short and jabs excitedly at you. Ride. Dolphin. And there we go. We're heading back to land. Once I find the... There we go. Put bridle on unicorn. Unicorn. Seriously, game? As Mew Unicorn offers no resistance, you. <laughs> uh huh. You gently place a golden bit into his mouth and fit the bridle. It rains over its majestic head. The unicorn looks at you with curiosity. Ride. Unicorn. There we go. Nearly mount the magnificent unicorn, grab the golden reins, and set off towards the Lot's castle. My throat hurts from all the talking. Oh well. Unicorn... 
Stay as frozen in tracks out of fear. Text went by fast because I have it set to fast. So, a lot says, I hear you were a good girl and bought me, brought me the unicorn, not bought. Well, I'm almost convinced you might be innocent after all, but she clears her throat. <clears throat> not quite. Uh-oh, this doesn't sound good, you think? Law continues, I am desire of the hen that lays the golden eggs. Curiosity, curiously, the hen is kept by the ogre and his wife. Bring me the hen and you shall have your freedom and a great reward. Take her away, the law orders her goons. Why didn't I get a reward the first time? That's not suspect. So yes, now we have to deal with... Now we have to deal with the Ogre House. Open door. Watch out, a very unfriendly bulldog rushes towards you. Gulp. Burp. You weren't fast enough, Brazil. You were nothing but a bite sized morsel for that big dog. Throw. Bone. Cooley really tosses the bone to the dog, who catches in midair. Happily, he sur the surprise kiss. He takes it to his favorite rug, lies down, and starts eating it. And we have to go upstairs real quick. Get axe. If we don't leave this room quick enough, the ogre wife appears and you die. Open door. Don't go to the right or the ogre wife is there in the, in the kitchen and you'll die. And now for the fun part. Waiting. This could take a bit. I think I'm going to get myself a drink while I'm waiting for this. Hear the ogre in the hat. Oh boy. Yep, time to move. Gotta go fast. Look. Keyhole. The ogre roars. Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell the blood of a. Uh... Quiet, old goat, interrupts the ogre. That's just. Dear you smell, you know how you get when you're hungry. Here, eat. Wife shouts to Yogur, bring me my hen. Anyone have a fiddle? No. Lay. Orders the ogre. With excitement, you watch the hen lay a golden egg, which the ogre takes. He yawns, then falls asleep on the table. Soon his snores rattles the walls. Guess, and yes, we had to put ourselves in danger, grab the chicken, and run for it. Okay, here we go. Figure our sleep at his table. You'd better be real quiet. Get. Hen. Take him in the right position. Open. Door. Squawk, squawk. Uh oh, the hen has woken the ogre. Run for it. Okay, good. Uh, I don't. Uh, I don't trust myself. Get it on the other side. Oh no, the Let's Goons. Getting captured again. Oh no. What a good girl you are, little Gushes. I really have to give you your reward right now. She pauses, then you wonder what she's up to. Black goes, but I have just the 
tiniest bit of doubt left. Of course you do. If you do one more thing for me, I'll be completely convinced of your innocence and you'll receive a wonderful reward. Yeah, I believe you. Somehow you don't quite believe her. Yeah. I want you to have... I want to have Pandora's box. It is said that whoever presents it will be po possession of the purest evil. Ross red eyes glow with excitement. With the power and the evil Pandora's box, I would be unstoppable. Oh boy. You terror re return to zero is what evil being a lot really is. Derp. You wonder if you should be helping her in this way, but what can you do about it? Nothing right now. I don't know what about Pandora's box, Lot tells you. You must search for it yourself. D d d okay. Again, she orders her henchmen to take her away. So, yeah. We have to go find Pandora's box. What could possibly go wrong? Anyway, this has been Vice, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye for now.